Afternoon people. Now you hear a lot of chat on the uh, Facebook forums, bushcraft and camping and so on and so forth, about having big knives. You don't always need them. Yes, I've got a few. Um, and if you're chopping down big stuff and battening in wood and that sort of thing, I can see the advantage. But to be honest, a small knife will do probably 90% of what you need to do. I've got quite a few, uh, but here's my three favourites. I suppose you'd call them EDC, Everyday Carry Knives. And if you have a look, well, let's have a look at this one. This is the Gerber GDC. Tiny little knife, completely covered in like a rubberized finish, which is great because you can have it in your pocket with your phone. No danger of scratching your screen or anything like that. It's, you know, really good. Really good. Not heavy. It's uh, it's not technically an EDC. You, you will get in trouble if you got caught with it because it's a locker. It's got really, really strong lock. It's nice for doing, you know, fine little work. The opening thumb bit there is really good for the thumb control. It's not, uh, so you're not a massive knife. Got the old measure here. Let's have a look. Bosh. So we've got what, two and a half inch blade, about five inch overall, six inch overall. So blade wise, it's legal. And the fact it locks isn't. So hmm, that's only really a, a weekend knife or if I've got a particular job in mind that I need to do. But handy little bit of kit, like it. Now, this one British military knife. This is really my EDC. Monday to Friday, this is always with me. This is my work knife. Stainless steel, seriously tough and strong. Non locking, although it does go back quite positively, so it doesn't feel like it's going to close up on you. Blade wise, two and a half inch, perfectly legal. The fact that it don't lock, perfectly legal. It is the definition of a pen knife. Really good job, that is. Can opener, come beer opener, whatever else you want. A little little point on the end there is quite useful for making holes in stuff. Um, got built-in screwdriver, flat blade screwdriver bit at the end there. Also handy for levering paint cans open or anything of that type of use. Using it as a, a pry bar because it's it's actually part. Maybe it don't really show up. But that's actually all the way along there. It's not just a, a little piece stuck on there jutting out. It's almost like like a full tang, I suppose you would call it. So you can really, really lever on that bit. And it'll, it'll put up with it all day long. This is a two-piece. Uh, they do make a three-piece version. Which has a, a marlin spike here. Uh, I don't like them. Um, it makes it too bulky. makes the knife about so wide. It's quite a thick marlin spike. I mean, it's great and it's strong, but makes the knife twice as heavy, almost twice as big. And to be honest, most of the jobs you can do with that bit anyway. So I don't really see the point of the marlin spike unless you're doing a lot of rope work. Um, but I say you can get away with the bottle opener for that sort of stuff anyway. And the third one, only just because it's so simple, so cool. And, I don't know, I just love them. Opinel, this is the number 8, so it's sort of medium sized one. Um, they do numbers 1 to 13, I think, 13 being the biggest. Um, this is a bit of a, a bit of a strange one. It's got this locking ring here. So it doesn't open, you know, like this would. It's not a traditional lock. Um, but I mean it also locks in the closed position too which is quite clever you twist it 
Pull print. Lock it again. Whether that is classed as a lock knife, hmm, grey area. It does lock open, but it's not a mechanical type lock like you would expect. It's you know it's two separate actions. You'll probably still get in trouble for carrying it. Um, the blade I think is over length. Yeah, it's a fraction over three inch, and three inch is the is the sort of legal limit. So the number seven you might get away with because it's a little smaller. So that's right on the borderline. But I think, I mean, I've never tested it out, but if you did get stopped and asked what's in your pocket, the fact that this is slimline, traditional looking, nice bit of wood, doesn't exactly look offensive. It's not some big zombie killing knife. It's just, you know, like a little pocket knife that your granddad would carry. Um, I just really like it. It's so simple. Really, really lightweight. Hardly know you got it in your pocket. It is uh, difficult to say. It's one of my favourite knives. It's not the most practical. It's not the best one. It's not the strongest one. But I just really like it. Really like it. So I suppose in order of preference, this is always going to be number one. It's a bit heavy, but it's absolutely bomb proof. And because I've got it with me five days a week, it's you know it's almost like a part of me. If I haven't got it in my pocket, it feels strange. He's number one. He will definitely be number two. If it was stronger, I'd be tempted to say it was number one. But no, he's got to be number two, I'm afraid. He's good, but not quite that good. Gerber. I like it. I like it because it's different. It's small, very comfortable to use. I love the fact it's covered in rubber, so you know it doesn't damage anything. Or if it's in pocket with chain uh, change or you know keys or something like that, it's not jangling about. You know because it's it's quiet. Um, it's a good knife. It's good for very small little close up I don't know, carving, I suppose. If you want to do something like that with it, I, I can imagine it being quite good. S small. Easy to control. The fact that it locks, you're not going to take your fingers off. Um, not a massive blade. Got the thumb bit there, so you can get, you know, quite precise with it. Uh, I haven't really found a use for it. I just bought it because I thought it was cool. So he'd have to be number three. Um, so I've got plenty more, but I suppose these will be the favourites. Definitely. Number one. Number two, number three. Well, that's my three favourites. <laughs>